everyone. Today, Kenny has come to read his story all about pirates. Hi everyone, I hope you enjoy my story. It's called Timmy Ted and the Chapel Island Adventure. It's a story about pirates that's, and teddy bears that I wrote myself and illustrated myself. It's based uh, around Ulverston and Barrow. I hope you enjoy it. The summer holiday has begun and as Timmy Ted has plans to play, it's time to have some serious fun. Today will be a thrilling day. His mum and dad have work to do. And so while Timmy eats his oats, they munch their toast and drink their tea. And dad Ted scans the morning post. Then I poured hill, Timmy wends, to keep a secret rendezvous. With rags and rose, his two best friends, he finds them staring at the view. Hey pals, he cries, I've got some news. The King of Peel has lost his gold. He's offering a huge reward. It might be pirates, I've been told. A strange ship sailed to Chapel Island. No one knows who were the crew. Perhaps the treasure is on board, says Timmy to the other two. Now Rags and Rose, excited too, decide to join the treasure quest. The three discuss what they can do. I know, says Rose, a raft is best. With planks and tyres, they build a raft and paddle bravely out to sea. We're great adventurers, they laugh. We'll call ourselves the Teddy Three. At Chapel Island, when they reach, a quiet cove they make for shore and pull the raft upon the beach, then cautiously start to explore. It's Rax who spots the pirate ship at anchor in a hidden bay. I'll wait and watch, he tells his friends. You go and hide our raft away. But as they're near their makeshift boat, a noise is heard by Tim and Rose. An angry pirate smashing it. His sword is flashing with the blows. They know we're here, says Timmy Ted. We must get back to Rags, there's danger. And quietly they slip away, unseen they hope by any stranger. While Rags has been alone on guard, he's seen two pirate ships row to land. They carried out a treasure chest brought it up across the sand. I must tell Rose and Tim, he thought, and started back along the track. But suddenly the ground gave way. Help me, he cries, as all goes black. That's Rags' voice. Timmy has no doubt. Are you all right? They call in fear. Quite fine, Rag grins as he crawls out. I found a cave. There's steps in here. Under the ground, it's dark and cold. Two tunnels lead to distant light. I'll take the left, Tim's feeling bold, and you two tiptoe down the right. So down the tunnel, step by step, creep, both hearts thumping, rows and rags. As the cavern opens out, they see the pirates' stolen bags. A chest lies open, Jewels gleam, and golden coins are heaped in mounds. The treasure of the King of Peel was grasped, but there's another sound. Was it a warning? Was it fear? The friendly mouse just gave a squeak. A pirate snarls, what have we here? And grabs the pair, their futures bleak. Thieves are you both, their captain bellows. I'll teach you not to pinch and pry. And Tim's in time to see his fellows dragged away by cutthroat sly. Timmy shadows close behind to find the fate of Rags and Rose. The pirates tied them to a gun. What is his plan, do you suppose? Now Timmy's brain is racing fast. He looks around for helping hope and sees the pirates rowing boat moored but still full of flags and ropes. Quickly he takes the ropes and flags, unties the boat and sets it free. 
His plot to rescue Rose and Rags depends on Timmy's bravery. Just down the path, he spots a hole. It's deep enough for Timmy's plan. He covers it with flags and poles. He'll catch those pirates if he can. Once he is sure the trap is set, he creeps to where his friends are tied and cuts them loose. They're so relieved, now Timmy's set to be their guide. When they find the friends are free, cutthroat sly and crew give chase. Just run, shouts Tim, and follow me through the winding caves they race. The teddies run with all their might, and Timmy leads them through a gap. This way he pants and dodge aside, this path will lead them to my trap. Rag stumbles and is almost caught, when suddenly, with a crash and a cry, the pirates fall into the pit, Black Bear, one eye. Cutthroat sly. So Timmy roars and rags can pounce and wrap the bears in the flags. You rascals, let us go, they growl. You will have to ask the police, jokes rags. While Rose and rags keep careful guard, brave Timmy goes off to find support. And setting off from Chapel Island, rose to land to make report. Close to the shore lives Granny Joan. Why, Tim, she smiles, this is a pleasure. Help, Gran, Tim cries. We need the phone. Call the police. we found the treasure. Inspector Bruin's near at hand, and Sergeant Brown accompanies him. And when they find the pirate's band tied up, they praise Rose, Rags and Tim. The King of Peel is quite delighted. They've found the treasure hoard. He makes a speech and calls them heroes promising a great reward. The Teddy Three are all tired but happy. Time for tea, we're rather late. Goodbye Rags and Rose, waves Timmy. His mum hugs him at the gate. What's your day exciting, Timmy? Asks his mum when he's in bed. You could say that. He yawns and grins. Sleep well now, young brave Timmy Ted. The end. I hope you enjoyed it. Oh, thank you for listening to our story today. Take care, stay safe. Bye. Bye.